Hey guys, welcome to another Guild World, and today we've got um, a Chinese guild, which unfortunately I can't pronounce, I can't read Chinese. Um, so we hit, we'll start with this plus three green tower. Okay, um, this is going to be a bit risky I think. So for first team, what I'll do is... Yeah, I'll bring. I'll just bring the team that I usually bring it against it. It's not very safe, but um, ideally, I think I would try to Lucian it. But I don't think I'll be able to kill it. Actually, no, let's try. Hang on. This so I'll bring uh, Bernard, Seek, and Lucian. This will be a test. All right. Actually, no, I saw another guy who had this team. Maybe I'll try it since he's uh, not as quite high rated. So we'll see how it goes against this team. If we can't even beat this team, then um, probably won't be able to deal with the higher level one. Um, so we'll do that and we'll take out the other team with my usual one mode combo. So basically, the idea for the first team is to cleave the crap out of it, right? I should be able to take out the. Orion with my Lucian, and I should be able to pop the Endure with, on the Field Mars, right? And then it's just a matter of hoping that I can survive the Field Mars after that. And Chasun's Fallen Blossom won't do much, because she, she'll get cleaved down as well. So that's the idea behind it. Let's give it a go. Oh, I didn't get the Orion, it was so close. I think six dead. Uh, I want to try... hang on. I want to try to take out the chest soon, this is going to be a bit of a risk. Oh, not quite. I wanted to take her out so that she wouldn't heal. Now we just take out that guy, take out this, so we, we sacrifice Seek, so I can't actually Lucian the other, the, the, the third tower. But yeah, I think my, I guess my Lucian needs a bit more damage to make this a bit safer. Let's take out the Veramos, and uh, we'll just take out this guy, hopefully. Alright. Alright, so I guess we'll just do a safe team for the first one, uh, which will be Fiumas, uh Iona, and Better. This is what I normally bring against this team. It's a bit of a risk, because it depends on what the Hamas prank does. So I don't have shield set on this first team, but um, this is the team that I have the best success rate with on that team so far. So I'll do that, and on the second team. Uh, I'm just gonna try to cop with this. It's a bit risky because um, Villager can take out my my copper like copper's uh, buffs, and then Perna does a lot of damage to copper as well. Uh, but I'm hoping that I should be able to tank through it because there's no like there won't be any more armor break after I kill Retesh and. Um, unlike on the Kuma fights, there's, there's not going to be any heal block, so I better heal through it. Um, and once I kill the Red Tesh, there's no more healing as well, so uh, I'll focus down the Perna after that. Alright, so that's the plan, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so Orion derped, which is uh, unfortunate for her, but good for me. But uh, well, Fallen Blossom will get popped, so oh, sorry, she'll, she'll use Fallen Blossom. Actually, that's not synced correctly, is it? I think the 
Fuel must move first, which probably shouldn't happen. Yeah, the fuel mass is moving first, which is, uh, in my opinion, is not correct because you, you want your like if if you know, the fuel mass gets uh, dropped down, right? You want the just soon to fall on bosom and then use the turn after, and that way he can return fire with a you know attack buff, um, you know, uh, with attack buff on him. Uh, he's going he, he just violent proc like. <laughs> Like crazy. I want to drop him down again because the muse is down. So I, I want to just. Oh. Okay, so I'm. Holy shit, Iona, what is going on? Okay, so I should be able to take him out now. Alright, now, now it's you know, easy peasy. No, there's no more threat. So, not worried anymore. But it might take a little while because it's really annoying trying to kill through Chasun's Fallen Blossom, <laughs> especially if they Balan proc. But we should be okay to finish this guy off. Okay, now we can just take it easy. Okay, good. There's no shield runes, which is important for you know, this particular composition. Because if he's got shield runes, it might mean I might not be able to kill with a retesh. Uh, now, just to be on the safe side, we'll poke him down a bit. And now we kill him. Okay. Now, just pray that my, uh, my defense buff doesn't get removed. Just gonna kill him twice. Oh, so close. Let's heal up now. I had the violent, uh, violent proc earlier, so that my cop, uh, Randy was able to put the defense buff back on soon after. Uh, let's protect the copper now. Perfect timing. Alright, now it should be easy with. Like, Velojul won't do enough damage for sure. No, at least not by himself. Uh, this is YOLO Thunderstrike. Did not do anything. Must be pretty. It's probably a pretty tanky Velojul then. Oh, yeah, you can see, like, the ignore defense but, uh, thing took. A lot of HP off him, so he's he must be built like defense. Uh, either probably speed, defense, defense, or something. Okay, we're pretty close. I think we can just hit another plus three. So let's see what people are running here. Okay. Hmm. Let's look for something interesting to fight. Hmm. They're all kind of like equal. <laughs> so Yeah, let's try this one. I haven't seen Leo and AD, like GD for a while, so uh, let's give that a try. Okay, I want to bring Ariel to 
tank the Leo. And because I got Nemesis on my. or oh, double Nemesis on my Ariel. Even though he pushes back my attack bar, I will gain it back. So. Um, I think that's pretty decent against that. Uh, need a. Actually, I think we could uh, put Jultan in. He can tank the uh, the Darien, and we bring Esha. Right. We don't need speed, so we just keep, we just use HP lead. All right, how about a second one? Uh, let me just bring. Bring our chroma to tank, right? Uh, we'll silence the passives and we'll use Chasun for heals. Yeah, I think that will do. Let's give this a go. I was surprised to attack the um, the Leo because I know for sure that the Leo, uh, you know, he's not going to move next and, and lo lose the armor break, right? So I was going to kill him first. Yeah, I'm surprised this Pro hasn't, hasn't moved because it's not like my Jultan and Esha are all that like particularly fast. So that base speed on the Praha must be super low. Wow, that Leo's tank. It's alright, we'll just endure through it. Endure through this. Oh, actually, he did have Darien's passive. Um, let's just work on the Darien now then. Since I know his attack bar is lower. It's actually a shame I didn't get the uh, the heal block on onto the... Uh, Time, but so the Leo before. Uh, I don't really need to heal yet. I'm just, I'm just gonna heal to be safe. I can just let it cool down anyway. Oh, damn it. That's alright. We'll just massacre the Darien. Oh, that's annoying. He pushed back my dual turn, so now that my speed sync is all messed up. Uh, let's just stun him anyway. Oh, never mind, it resisted. So they try to just keep heal block on them because eventually. Praha is gonna try to heal, right? And. Okay, now I can just waste it, right? Uh. I'm gonna just keep heal block on. This massacre is still not gonna kill them, right? Uh, try to heal block her. Damn it! This is really awkward just because of that pushback on my jewel time now. I can't really get it to sink back anymore. So I'm still gonna have to hope for decent damage on on the on the, on the Leo somehow from Jultan, his prox. Yep. Uh, this is Yolo massacre and surprise attack. Right there we go. Now Praha should be pretty easy eventually. I mean, I'm still out of sync. I think Jultan might eventually better catch up. I don't know. He's, he's still one speed ahead, but but in terms of total speed, but it's gonna take a probably take a little while for him to actually catch up, if ever. Not sure how it works. Maybe speed buff will help. 
Is that a Vlada proc? That's, that was strange. Don't normally see. Don't normally see Violet Praha. Ever. You know what's going to be really annoying? I think that Rakuni will remove Oblivion if I put it on dual time. So we have to go for the Rakuni first. Uh, let's buff the Muse. Okay, you should just die from this. Oh, is that a revenge? Oh yeah, I think it's a revenge dual time. Actually, that's pretty normal. He did. I know he didn't have will runes, so. Swords to finish off. Uh, okay, let's check out the wall boss. Let's see how we do today. I haven't changed any runes. Uh, I think I upgraded a few runes, but they, it was just like odd slot runes for ba like the flat stats. So I probably wouldn't, it's not going to make much difference on wall boss. But yeah, it's all about the RNG now. Come on, SS. Uh, that's not an SS. I would normally expect Field Mars to be on top because I think he's got my best runes, right? Best quality runes. Or at least some of them. At least, oh uh, yeah, and well, the best ones for my water units at least. Plus, oh, I didn't know it was that high. Okay, actually, Katarina, I think, usually is in my first team, but I don't know. No. Got pushed. She got pushed down. It seems. Actually, Varad has really high quality runes as well. Like he's got pretty, a pretty good despair set, but he's got absolutely no skill up, so it's kind of not surprising that he's this low. But if I give him skill ups, he'll probably definitely move up a fair bit. Like, I reckon he would be team 1 material if he was max skilled. Uh, I haven't really decided if I'm going to give him quality runes yet. Alright, let's use up some wings. I'm in gu uh, Guardian at the moment. I'm, I'm using a troll defense, but no one wants to hit me. It's probably because it's like four healers. So 
they they probably just like can't be fucked fighting that. I mean, it's not a particularly good defense. Let's reset and we'll take out the Kuma. Hopefully, we crush. Let's kill the. Yep. Wow, alright. Violent going up nuts. Actually, that's not good. It's gonna. Actually, it's alright. I was I was afraid he, she was gonna hit my uh, Tor. Because I need Tor to kill uh, the Camilla later on. We just. Auto from here. Like, if she was a tanky one. Now I, I would need to, I would need to squall it to death. Everyone else take forever killer. Uh, I think I usually double Lucian this one. I usually prefer to bring Lucians against Molly because this is multi hit. I, f I believe each hit. Uh, you know, calculates whether it's going to glance. So, unlike you know, single target, like single hit attacks, which you know, if you fail that, like if you glance on that, then it's going to be complete fail. But if you glance one of your, you know, one one of your cards, it's not a big deal. Although now I'm in, not in the best position because there's the Camilla and the Perna still alive. I'm just gonna slowly take out my Lucian. Uh, try to weaken attack. I will just try to take him out if you could. Hopefully, you know, using three guys, I should be able to out DPS this Camilla. I'm not bothering to armor break with uh, my Grenade because chances are he's gonna crit. And that will just waste, uh, waste the the second skill anyway, because the first skill actually does pretty good damage. It's, it scales off speed, so it actually does more damage than the second skill. All right, put enough time for amp anyway. Okay, we've tried to finish off this list. Hmm. This one's not so easy to double Lucian as well, but I think I'll try to. If it fails, then yeah, I kind of just have to go for like a YOLO team. As in like, YOLO, to try to squall down the, the, the molly. At least I got the two with the um, with two guys in the middle. I'll have to hit them again. Just now that I have to kill the Perna. Just make sure I kill the Perna and then I'll be pretty safe. But she's hitting the uh, the Bernard which is fine. I, I can sacrifice the Bernard. I just need the Lucius to deal the damage for me. Safe from here. But you can see some like these are like the stuff I have to deal with on rush hour. They're not easy to deal with. Like there's like mollies, kumas every hole. Oh, this is a lot of fire. This is a, obviously a troll defense. Can't Lucian it. Let's take out the Reviver. Oh, it's a Revenge. It's either Revenge or Lisa. 
Revenge is pretty good if you, you know, for raids anyway. Uh, wait, did I just hit this guy? I think I'd already hit him, so let's hit someone else. Okay, speed team, we bring Tasha. Okay, no will on it, so it's actually like yeah, perfect to hit. Oh damn, resistant armor break though. Uh, oh damn. Sorry, try to take her out. See, the Bernard actually does pretty decent damage. I have no, like, you know, uh, no attack stats on him pretty much, apart from maybe some sub stats. But he still does thirteen thousand on defense break, which is pretty nice for a guy that's supposed to be just there for speed buff. Oh, it's Kaz. I raid fairly often with, well not fairly often, but I do raid, you know, occasionally with Kaz, so let's, let's uh, visit him. This is not his real defense either. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not his real defense. Pretty sure he uses some math in his real defense, but, but it's, Seems pretty damn tanky though. Wow. Uh, let's push back the Veromos. Oh, it's a violent Chloe. That's interesting. Holy shit, that's a lot of violent though. Uh... Wow. So I'm gonna finish him off. Just so I don't want any revive bullshit. You can see the effect of, you know, uh, raids. I mean, his team's so tanky, even though it's a very standard sort of looking team. But you know, he can survive a Tasha, the Tempest, whereas most other people don't survive, you know, the Tempest. But you can see that his quality of runes is quite, quite high. You know, uh, ooh, this is a Wind Panda. This is a very scary team. Uh, I actually don't know if I can hit it. Uh, this is like a team I would probably avoid on Rush Hour. This team's very, very fire heavy. I think I can go with this, but I'm, I'm a bit scared of the Sierra. her, which is good, um, but I want to make sure to kill Akuma. Oh, maybe I can kill the Juno then. Alright, that worked out pretty well. But 
but now this Chloe's wasting my time. Okay, now we can order her. Alright, let's try Tainako from Swag. I think this calls for triple Lucian. See how this goes. Hopefully that better is not too fast. Alright, good. Okay, wipe everything except for the Perner out, which is fine. Come on, oh my god, this is why I hate Perna. And there's also why I would like one. <laughs> anyway, that's all the wings. So this video is a bit longer than usual because of uh, the arena taking a while. Right, I got one more wing, but that's, I think it's already half an hour, so I will leave it here. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Guild War video. Bye bye.